hello everyone welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by today in this video i'll share with you how i made this jello fries recipe stay tuned to the end to see it through here i've got my ingredients already prepared my bell pepper onion garlic ginger and um, tomato and i'll list everything down below in the description box so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend my ginger bell pepper onion and some spices and here is it very smooth and also i blended my tomato i'm just gonna bring it to a simmer for about 10 minutes so let's go on add some oil to the pan the pan is preheated then i'll add my onion and i'm going to saute that for about two minutes If today is your first time joining my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share. And after two minutes, I'm adding my tomato paste, and I'm going to fry or cook that for about five minutes. And I'm doing that on a medium heat. After five minutes, I'm gonna go in and add my diced tomato and I'm only using one big tomato and one and a half can of chopped tomato. So I'm going to cook that for about five minutes, five to eight minutes or until it's softened. Now my fresh tomato is softened, I am going to go in and add my blended mixture of onion, ginger, garlic and um, aniseed and I added some cloves as well as whole black pepper. Um, so um, I'm going to add that now and then fry that or um, cook that for about 10 minutes on medium heat. After 10 minutes, I'm going to go on and add the tomato that I have already simmered earlier. The reason why I do that once again um, is because I don't want to spend too much time cooking the sauce. So I'm going to add that and this jello rice will be um, served with pepper chicken. I have already made that um, ahead and I've got the broth that I'll be adding to this jello. So I'm not going to add water to the jello. I've added that I'm just mixing it up I haven't added any spices yet but this smells so good I'm now adding my spices so I've added my um, all-purpose seasoning my bay leaf curry powder and any other spices that um, I've used in this recipe. I will list everything down below in the description box once again. So uh, don't worry about that. You can have a look in the description box. Everything will be there. I'm going to cover this to simmer for a few minutes. Then I'm going to go and add the rice. And this is my broth that I'll be adding and my rice. I've got two cups of jasmine rice here. I'm now adding my broth to the stew and also 
don't forget to wash your rice until the water is completely clear before you add it to the stew or to the sauce you want to make sure to get rid of any starch so I've added the rice and I'm mixing in the rice to make sure the spices and everything is well infused I am now going to cover to cook for 15 minutes on a medium low and after 15 minutes I am checking in on my rice as you can see it's not cooked at all it's not even it's nowhere near cooked so um, I am going to reduce the heat to a real a very low um, setup and I'm going to cover with baking paper or you can cover with um, uh, aluminium foil if you want and then I'm um, just going to cook it for 20 more minutes after 20 minutes this is how it's looking it's still the grains are still um, hard And I'm just losing it up again. And you can poke some hole in there to help the rice to um, cook quickly. Or instead of adding water, uh, I'm not going to sprinkle any water on top of it because the moisture in there is still enough for uh, my rice to be cooked. You can add some vegetables to it because this will release some water into your jollof. And for my vegetables, I am just adding some butter to my um, preheated pan. And I'm just literally going to saute all my vegetables until it's al dente, not too soft, but just al dente. And then I'll add it to my jollof once it's ready. Um, so I'm cooking the jollof for additional 15 minutes, then I will add the vegetables. I'm just adding a little bit of seasoning to the vegetables. Um, all I added was a sprinkle of soya um, spice and some um, black pepper and a pinch of salt. So that is ready and my jollof is also ready at this point it's very soft it's not mushy and it's just the right texture that I'm looking for I'm now going to add my vegetables and that is done I'm not going to um, let it cook for any longer because the vegetables are ready um, and the rice is ready. If you did not saute or simmer your vegetable before using it, then uh, leave it for a little bit to cook. And this, the end result of my jollof, I'm now going to serve with some salad and with my pepper chicken if you enjoyed this video thumbs up for me see you in the next video bye bye for now